right. So hi everybody. This is Sarah. You say hi. <laughs> this is my daughter. Um, I just wanted to give you a um, a little bit of context for the module that I'm posting for module 12 um, about Native people and the voting rights. Um, I am uh, posting Boo! another module <laughs> in our unit on the 19th Amendment. Um, hey, <laughs> I'm recording a video. <laughs> um, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Okay, so sorry about that. Um, because today is all sorts of craziness happening, including internet connectivity issues. So it's now like an hour past when I was supposed to have this module posted, but there you go. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know there is some, uh, uh, there are more modules coming that have to do with Native people. I um, am a specialist in Native American history, so it's kind of. Um, I was kind of on the fence about when I should introduce some of the stuff about Native people and civil rights just because it's really complicated to think about Native Americans and um, in the context of civil rights without also doing, you know, an overview of um, Native sovereignty and sort of the longer history of federal policies that pertain to Native people. Um, it's just so much history there to try to cram it into one or two modules is a little risky. Um, and I also wanted you to have a really good sense of what, um, you know, what was at stake, what kinds of laws were in place, uh, what kind of civil rights activism had been taking place to sort of use that as a comparison to see where native people fit in this whole story. Anyway, this is my long convoluted way of saying that um, this module introduces you to the history of native people and civil rights, specifically in terms of uh, questions about voting. Um, we will return to the issue of sovereignty and voting again once we get to our unit on the 19th Amendment. Um, and we're going to talk about a recent article that's been published in the context of all of the celebration of the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. So we'll specifically be looking at women. Um, but this is sort of the intro uh, discussion of that, uh, looking at Native people's relationship with citizenship and then introducing you to their struggles over voting rights. So um, yes, keep in mind that Native folks are, um, they have experienced the history of civil rights and citizenship very differently than other marginalized communities in the US. The most important thing to note is that citizenship is not a straightforward, like positive thing in the minds of Native folks, especially in the early 20th century. Um, it is just, it's good to keep in mind in general, but for Native people, citizenship in a nation that exists because, of the, purely because, you know, we've taken the land of their nations, you can, you can understand why citizenship would be, um, you know, not exactly the uh, feeling, of something that felt like it was the most positive. Anyway. So that's what I want to say. <laughs> um, sorry about taking a little bit longer to get this module up for you. Now it's almost four o'clock. Uh, but here you go. I hope you enjoy it. And let me know if you have any questions. And we'll talk much more about Native people as well. So this is not the only time we'll talk about them. Um, but yeah, have a great day.